This section, I'm going to be talking about how to make ads, um, what kind of ads you can do, and my experience with ads, how much money I've put in, my results, and all that jazz. So, pulling up my AdSense AdWords account, let's do all time because I just started doing it anyways. So, so I've spent about $100 total got about a hundred clicks so I spent about a dollar a click but that's a little bit different because I got a lot of views outside of it now that's not that my impressions but let's go to views um in the views I got about 5,350 5, views with uh, about a hundred dollars so that's not bad i could have done my thing i spent a lot of money that were on ads that were not being targeted properly but um oh my bid was set fairly it was cheap but it was kind of expensive so what i would do is i would set an inflection change so if it was a popular video it would change by 50 to 100 percent um so youtube video youtube search a lot of my stuff was coming from the YouTube search, and then I had um, some stuff from the YouTube video. I'm gonna go in my campaigns, so this is gonna be give us a little bit more detail. Um, so these are some test ones that I'm running right now, or I'm about to. I'm waiting for them to get verified. So, and what I mean by test, I'm just doing a dollar a day for seven days, just to see how the outcome is gonna come. I'm a, I, I need to see the outcome and see uh, how beneficial it is because I don't want to spend another like fifty dollars total or three dollars a day until like I mean three dollars a day isn't shit but um, I could be doing much more but doing the one dollar a day I could kind of, kind of get an idea how everything's gonna work like if one outdoes the other I know that's gonna be a better ad to put money behind so. So right here, I got one that I did four dollars a day. The view rate was bad. Now I had this other one was get more sales for your beats videos. This one had a view rate of, and the the reason why this one was really bad was because I did a very broad targeting. Now it did get a lot of views. Average cost per view was like one cent, um, or something like that. I guess uh, CPV cost per view, yeah. So that's how much I paid. Uh, earned views. I don't really. So I earned 136 views off of that. So pe I guess like I don't. I don't know how many different people that was, but it pretty much means that a, a, a 136 additional views I got was purely from the ads that led the people to go watch other stuff. So it's kind of interesting how much information they gave you. I don't think any of the beats that I even promoted sold, but I actually had some other sales come in um, during this ad campaign, so I don't know if it was directly came from the ads or not, but I mean, regardless, I pulled up money on top, so I'm not too worried. My big thing is I'm trying to go for brand exposure, I'm wanting to just increase the brand, because I know the content we create is quality, so we need to reach a bigger demographic, so I'm not worried about that, so, but, I'm testing with these two Drake or there's actually really only two different beats but there's uh, two ads running for one beat so that's why there's three new ones so new campaign because we're gonna start from scratch so here is where AdWords it gives you the different options so we could do a search one we could do a display thing where it runs across different websites and we might do different ones for different things um, shopping one so if you want to do promote products uh, that probably be I would say the display one video and search one are all the ones that I would recommend doing if you're gonna promote music in some way or like a service but we're gonna do a video ad enough with talking 
So you get the leads, generate customer leads and signups from people interested in your business, website traffic, product and brand consideration, brand awareness and reach. I'm gonna just do one without a goal because that gives me the most customization because I, I don't know what I wanna do quite yet, honestly. But we're gonna click it. Let me look for a video real quick on my channel that we can do. All right, so campaign name, I'm gonna call it test, live stream. Um, you gotta choose a daily or campaign total. I like the daily, cause I can set it to $1 and then I can change it later on because the $1 is gonna allow me to kinda just see how I'm going because fuck it, it's $1, come on. Like, you, got, you could spend $1, you could spend $1 for a week. So $7 total. I'm gonna do a uh, standard never really tried the accelerated uh, all it does is spend your money faster so uh, I don't really see a point of doing that maybe if there was a rush if you needed a rush and add but actually let's just try it you see spending budget more quickly this may cause your budget to run out early it's fine soon as uh, soon as ads are approved usually just one business day so I'm gonna set it up today, but we're not gonna probably see any results that we could at least set it up though. I got an itch. Probably got bit by a bug. So select date, let's do a week. Coming down here, networks, uh, YouTube search. So this is where we can kind of choose what we wanna do. YouTube video partners on display networks. What are those? Video partners extend to the reach of video ads to collection of sites and apps in the Google Display Network, including video partners with a few reach. Uh, nah. I just want to do YouTube. And I still need to figure out my video. I mean, it's really not that hard when you kind of sit down and just spend a little bit of time to look into it. Uh, we're just doing it for a test, so... It's going to appear in the search results and uh, YouTube videos. So what that means when you search it, it's going to be at the top. And then when we are watching a YouTube video, it will come up on someone's video or some, something like that. Um, languages, I think it would be best since I'm actually speaking in this one just to have English. Um, sure, other people can from other countries and such could probably understand it, but makes most sense so then here's the strategy for how you want to bid uh, so maximum cost per view maximum cost per um, what was the CPM cost per thousands of impressions you set the most you're willing to pay for every thousand times your ad is shown or use this to create bumper ads so now nah, we're gonna what we're gonna do is a CPV actually now what I normally do is I uh, just turn off the standard content filter. I mean, I don't, the way that I'm gonna be targeting the ads, I already know where these videos are gonna go, but I don't, since it's rap, I don't know if these videos have restrictions on those videos specifically. So that's why I turn it off because I know it's not gonna be going to any like other type of content. And I'm not promoting, the videos are never promoting bad content. like racial hurtful any of that stuff none of my content does that so i'm not worried about that um i just want i don't know if a music because if a music video has a girl stripping or if there's even just a video of in the background doing that that might be sensitive content and then my ad won't be shown so that's why i turn off the standard content filter um and then i opt out of certain content types um definite i opt out of live streams and i opt out of games because ooh, games might not be the best one for this one because we're using a metroid but you know what we're gonna do it anyways because those are not our marketplaces and also with live stream videos and even games people are really clicking on to the skip the ad there's really i mean that's usually for most cases but like more so with a live stream when there's actually live footage that are that is out there. I don't know if I've ever heard that. Well, I don't know the geographics of just that well. So this is what I'm doing for this ad real quick, not to to kind of like reroute a little bit. Um, I'm doing the the maximum cost per view is uh three cents, which is kind of high actually. 
with a popular video bid adjustment to 120%, meaning seven cents. What that really means is, hey, if you got a popping video, I want my ad to be on there and I'm gonna push up. I will pay higher than what I normally charge. So it pushes up. So it's a little bit more important than other people. Um, a lot of people probably be doing one. If we, if we were doing something like real estate or uh, banking or some other stuff like that, like foreign ads for those industries, we'll be probably be paying for a higher bid price. Whereas when we're doing like beats and music, there's really not a lot of competition doing it. But then again, I have YouTube red, so I don't see jack shit. So I, I have literally not seen an ad and I don't use Facebook. I literally don't see ads. All right, so then we get down to the people we want to reach. I never want to reach females because statistically, most rappers, unless if I, unless if I was doing like a singer beat or something like that. But like this one was the uh, we're making the beat. Let's be honest. Like I, I can look at my analytics. It's, it's like a 95 to 99 percent males. Or no, no, 95 to 90 percent. Not like in the car industry. It's 90 like 95 percent dudes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, um, I don't really care about parental status too much. Um, uh, age 35 to 44, a little old. So let's go down because probably I wish we could target younger, but you can't target people under 18. What we could do actually is they might be under their parents' accounts. So we might want to keep that. Who knows? So household income, this is actually a funny one. <laughs> Uh, what usually whenever I'm doing an ad, if it's around something I'm trying to sell, well, you see a top 10, 30% is a good range to go with because I'm like, Hey, who's going to have the most expendable income? Logically, in my mind, someone with more money. So, but for this one, it's more of a reach and we're going for more of like a beats, um, showing off a beat session. So fuck it. We'll do everyone. So then here we get to audiences. Um, so I'm going to type in a website. I'm going to do BeatStars. BeatStars.com. Right. So. That's, these are affinity aud audiences. I just select different audiences. Um, what was the one that. How have they interacted? <laughs> this one's a little too vague, I think. But we're doing rap and hip hop fans. Um, how have they? No. Audio on. Oh yeah, here, right here. Is there like uh, speakers and pro musician equipment? those would be good ones so that just because they're DJs you know so then keywords um, so then this is a keyword so I'll, I'll go to beat stars right here so anything that has these keywords I'll just add all ideas um, what was the Arabit website what's that one called Arabit.com add all ideas what about FL Studio Image Line? Image Lines, but because it is a beat session video, so it's image image dash line dot com. There we go. Add all ideas. Boom. So we got we got a good. This is our pretty much our got a lot of keywords. So topics, uh, topics is too broad. Placements. So this is where it's important. Um, obviously I'm gonna do B to A T. So, so I got 785 videos. This guy is not getting an answer right now. Let's do internet money, of course, because it'll be similar content. So I'm targeting my competitors as well. I mean, that's what you got to do. Strategic marketing. <laughs> so internet money. Um, 
busy work speech. Busy work YouTube channel. Oh, who else we got? Base Gouda. Um, who else? Who is some other good guys that make beats? Busy work beats. Internet money. Sharpie, that guy. Or my. Oh my, that kid. He's kind of hot. Wait. Is that this one? I think it is. Is it MAI? So I'm just like doubling down on everyone that. So like when I get these mark, when I hit these markets, I know I'm getting good shit. Like I'm getting the people I need to watch my videos. So I think his name is Mai. Let me double check. He has 55 videos. That seems yeah, 55 videos. Okay. So then uh, Sharpie is it S A P R E? Damn, he has 308,000 subscribers. Shit. Mazel tov to him. So, boom. Makes my targeting easy. So, we targeted a good amount of people. Um, I mean, we could do videos too, but like, I, I hit all the places, so that doesn't really matter. I, you could do per video. Pat Ryan, I'm saying Pat Ryan, I don't know who Pat Ryan is, but thank you for the idea. So this is going to be one of my beat session videos that goes, targets these guys. Pat Ryan official, oh yeah, he's pretty, he's pretty popping. Damn, my clout, I got no clout tokens. So, but this is how, um, paste, so I'm going to go ahead and, uh, what was my beat session video? It was the, uh. Yeah, turning Metroid into a trap. So, I think... Do you think this ad would be a better for a video discovery or an in-stream? Video discovery would be at there. I think it might be better for discovery because it's really catchy title. I mean, like, the catchy, like, logo. I mean, but, like, I also think an in-stream might be good. Because it will all get... Yeah. I don't know. You're saying video discovery at hit play? I mean, they're both good ideas. Um, I might just do in. Let's do video discovery. Fuck. Actually, not in stream. In stream is just gonna give me a guaranteed view. So, so, so. And I'm gonna call it um, turning Metroid. Turning Metroid into trap beat. I'm actually edit this just to max CPM too, but we still have that 120% adjustment. So overview now all my campaigns. So I got one, two, three, four, five campaigns running all at once. These uh, still need to be approved, but yeah. So yeah, that that will make up this section of the live stream.